gotta do what you gotta do man well hello everybody welcome back Josh here with Josh's Lawn and Landscape and it is 6 35 p.m. and I'm just leaving to go cut some grass <laughs> um, so stayed home today with uh, watched the girls uh, wife went to work um, my dad's uh, prepping for a procedure and my father-in-law just still not feeling that good so um, just stayed home watched the girls um, youngest one went to a uh, kind of a morning or half day church daycare program and then uh, went back picked her up and then uh, took the girls out for lunch so been a pretty good day and I uh, did a little bit of weed eating at the house but I've got um, a couple of little properties that um, I've got to go to um, well at least one that I've got to go to and uh, try to get mowed. So it's not that big. I got plenty of time to do it. Um, it's not going to get dark here till probably quarter to nine, almost nine o'clock. So uh, most likely, <laughs> unless I get greedy, uh, most likely, Ronaldo, you're not going to see uh, any moonlight mowing. So <laughs> hopefully this one won't be wrapping up at dark. Uh, so. Just shout out there again to always had a little fun with Ronaldo over at uh, Big Sons Lawn Care. If y'all haven't yet, check his channel out. Um, and I noticed earlier today, and it could fluctuate a couple uh, up or down, but I want to say thank you to all my subscribers, as I always try to remember to do in these videos, and uh, for getting me to 1,300 subscribers. So I hit that a little earlier today. I'm much appreciated for that. And uh, I did spend a little time uh, not too long ago catching up on some comments. And so uh, appreciate all the feedback on that uh, from the review video on the V-Ride 2. Um, it's been getting it done. Uh, I had some people say they thought it was crazy that I'd already put over 50 hours on it. Um, and it's uh, 56 or 57 right now. So it'll be um, probably before, even before Saturday. Well, I know by Saturday, um, I'm going to be over 60. Um, and then so by the end of the day, Saturday, I'm liable to be 65 plus. Um, so it's, it's earning its keep. It's, it's definitely um, doing what it needs to do. So um, I had somebody ask me if I thought the, actually, as a matter of fact, it was Randall from AMI Lawn Care. Uh, it's the other Randall. <laughs> so I'll shout them both out, too. Shout out to uh, Randall from Elite Landscapes Life Stories as well. But uh, Randall over at AMI um, commented on the review video. And then one of his questions at the comment was, um, did I basically think that the mower had enough horsepower? Because it's got the 24 horse um, carbureted Kawasaki on, uh, the FT730. Um, for that mower, I would say, yes, that is enough horsepower for what I do. Um, there are some scenarios this time of year um, as y'all all know where I'm at, this bi-weekly um, bahia grass is, um, can be a little bit of a pain. <laughs> so um, there are some, some areas and some moments where it uh, definitely could use um, a little more horsepower. Um, but even my Z-Track, which weighs roughly 300 pounds more than the uh, Skag has the FX730, which is rated at 23 and a half, but they're roughly it's pretty much the same engine. They're both carbureted 730cc Kawasaki. So, um, yeah, buddy. I don't know. Can y'all see that? I don't know if y'all can see that over there. Let me see if I can zoom in any. Yeah. Good thick stuff over there. So, that's what I'm going to be getting into here. 
um, and I will be doing it with the skag and I will probably um, I want to see if I can get some footage here I've gotten footage of this yard before but um, there wasn't a point this year where it was this bad yet so if I'm gonna get on the mower first and uh, get my dinner time to settle because I did just eat dinner before I come out so I don't want to get too hot too quick trimming everything um, as you can see I'm still in my father in laws truck so uh, they were hoping to get the truck finished this week. Um, I went by there today and um, the truck was still sitting outside. They were there working on a couple of vehicles. So I'm hoping that the transmission maybe came in today. Um, the lady said that um, they could do it in, in about a day's worth of work. So um, it'd be nice to have it back before Saturday, but we'll see how that goes. I just got to keep going and keep cutting till um till i get it back because the grass ain't gonna quit growing right now so um so let me get out get going on this one and i'll see if i can get y'all some footage so stick around all right well we're gonna try to get some footage here if you can tell how tall the grass is there we go just to give you a shot you'll see it coming out of the uh shoot when i do this and uh this one's for you, Ronaldo. We're gonna be doing some wash and wax, so y'all get to see how it works. Here we go.
All right. B ride two. To give y'all a good look at this. Just cut on two and a half. A wash and wax. Y'all seen some before footage. I already mowed the rest of everything else. Uh, just got to trim everything out. So, uh, don't think I'm going to get any trimming footage, but got y'all some uh, <coughs> real-time mowing footage. And so, um, I know I mentioned in the previous video, I will talk about this. Um, trim patterns. So that you can keep a good flow while you're trimming. Because the less time you aren't running the trimmer, the more you're getting done. So, um... So what I do on this property is I actually go and just double check down the edge of the road, but then I go to the outside of the fence on the roadside. I come down the outside of the fence, come around, go back to the inside of the fence, um, go down the little pathway, come back down. There's some fence right there y'all can't see. Um, go around, back edge, outer edge of the property, come around here, and then I go back around the house when I come around the front um, of the house, I just come down the sidewalk here, go down the top of the wall, loop around, come back down the inside of the wall along all this, and then wrap right around here and catch anything I want to clean up on this edge. And t da, I'm done. So uh, when I come around the back, I'll usually go around this little area too. But um, yeah, so. That's how I do that. Just want to throw that in there. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the uh, wash and wax of the front area there. And uh, I'm going to get this one wrapped up. And then I'll close out the video. I'm going to throw something else in here real quick. Uh, my tripod that I use. Um, I believe, shout out to uh, Jeff over at Jeff's Lawn and Landscape. I believe he bought one of these. This is the On brand. And you can actually pick these up at Walmart. Um, it has two more levels of extendable uh, legs for the tripod part and this upper part if you loosen this bolt here has a tube that uh, extends out the top so it gets pretty tall but I think you can pick this up at Walmart for around 20 or 25 dollars so um, cell phone clip just slides right in there and you tighten down the top nut there um, it's adjustable side to side with this tightening as well as tilt forward and backwards here with the handle. So um, that's it on brand. Sorry there. Um, on brand tripod from Walmart. Like I said, $20, $25. And shout out to Jeff over at Jeff's Lawn and Landscape. Sorry, Jeff. I just thought I saw this on one of your uh, screenshots there. I actually haven't watched the video yet, but uh, I'll get to it. So, stick around. Got to clean up the V-Ride and trim it out. All right, Ronaldo. You got me. It's dark. I tried. <laughs> uh, just real quick. Got a uh, delivery today. Amazon delivered. So, close out the video real quick. Let's show y'all what I got. Um... <clears throat> got my rebuild kit for the echo trimmer little spark plug primer bulb grommet fuel lines carburetor air filter gaskets for the carburetor fuel filter all that good stuff so got all that so hopefully y'all didn't see too much of this just now um so might go down there to shop in the morning and then bring it up here to the back porch and might do a video of me fixing it. See if I can get it running. Um, leave that in the truck. So, I got that one done over there. Hopefully you enjoyed the uh, real-time mowing footage and um, and everything. So, I uh, appreciate the feedback and the views on the, again, on the Skag uh, V-Ride review. So, I mentioned some stuff about that earlier. But, real quick, just wanted to say thank y'all for taking the time to watch. Hopefully you enjoyed it. 
I uh, just want to let y'all know that I got some more stuff coming down the pipe. Got my delivery from my rebuild kit. Um, so who knows what I'll do with that one. Make a, if nothing else, make a good backup. So um, thank y'all for watching. Appreciate all the support. Leave me a comment below. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And uh, if you're fairly recent to the channel and haven't yet, punch that subscribe button down at the bottom. Be greatly appreciated. And as always, just want to say y'all be safe, be kind, be blessed, and catch you on the next one. Thanks, everybody.